Hello. Hi friends, this is Sunny and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, we love DIYs, we love to go thrifting and today is one of those videos. I haven't done a thrifting video in such a long time. I cannot even like recall the last time that I did one. Maybe it was like around December or something like that. So yeah, pretty long time. And I have to tell you, I started my 2024 without purchasing anything, not new and not secondhand, but I think we can start already incorporating some secondhand pieces because why not? For those of you who don't know it, I'm in the Southern Hemisphere, I'm in Melbourne. It's autumn already, the leaves are falling down, but it's quite hot today. It's like 30 degrees, I think, so it's quite of a crazy weather going on but today i'm going to be thrifting for autumn winter that is the season that we are entering i actually think there are going to be pieces well if i found them they're going to be very transitional pieces or even if you're watching me from the northern hemisphere they're going to be okay for a more spring weather and i have my pinterest board already updated with my like my bucket list for this autumn winter so i'm going to be thrifting things that yes thrifting my pinterest board why not so for bottoms i'm looking for very flowy and baggy kind of pants i would love to incorporate some patterns so i'm looking for an animal print that it's all over our social medias and whatnot a leopard print will be amazing but i'm also looking for stripes but like thin stripes maybe maybe if it was like a navy background with like white stripes or but very thin white stripes something like that would be amazing maybe some dark chocolate pants would also be great yeah, if you've seen my pinterest board i will share it here and you guys can follow it i think the leopard pants are all around there i'm also going to be looking at the fabric section you know i always do that and i'm looking for kind of like a plaid to make myself another jacket like i did last year which i will be sharing up here somewhere what else am i looking for I'm also looking for cardigans. You know that I'm always on the search for cardigans. I always try to look for really good quality ones that we can always find at the op shop for a better price than if you buy them new. So I have got a gray cardigan that was that it's a um, New Zealand merino made in New Zealand. So I would love to find a piece like that, but in another color. I am also looking for long skirts, which I have to tell you, I've got already a Quite a, like a, yeah, like a good selection of skirts. And this year I want to wear them more. I think that I don't wear them as much as I could because I'm always like, okay, the easy thing is just put some pants on and that's it. So I really want to style better and more often the skirts that I already have. And I'm also in the look for like new skirts with new shapes and something that will really yeah, make my wardrobe more fun. And speaking of making my wardrobe more fun, you know, I'm always uh, gravitating towards all the neutral colors, but I really want to make my wardrobe Kind of like when you're dressing up in the morning, feel like uh, enthusiastic, feel more open to experiment with new textures, new prints, mixing prints, mixing different colors that I wouldn't be doing before. So I really want to look for these pieces that I was telling you, try to look for colors that maybe I don't have. So for example, cardigans. The other day I was thinking like, oh, I don't have like a green cardigan. So a green cardigan will be perfect or a blue one, like a very like electric kind of blue one so i could like combine them maybe if you have like an outfit like very neutral outfit try to incorporate some pop of color i think that will make like dressing up in the morning like more fun for this autumn winter i'm also all about the compliments the accessories sorry i'm all about the accessories so i've been pinning a lot i just realized a lot of like knitwear um a lot of knitting pieces and crochet pieces which i'm not going to op shop them but if i found any yarn at the op shop i can maybe do them i have these little like knitted scarves and bonnets i will be attempting one of those pieces like in following videos for this autumn the last thing i think it's going to be the 
the shirts. I know I'm always looking for shirts, but you guys, that's the piece in my wardrobe that I wear the most. Like my blue light shirt, I wear it always. And I'm actually looking for more kind of like more romantic kind of vibe shirts. So I'm looking for big puffy sleeves and big colors, not like a simple tailored shirt, something like more special. That will be amazing because I know those shirts, I can style them in so many different ways. Like I can wear them on their own. I can wear them with maybe crochet cardigan on a crochet top on top of it. I could wear them under my jumpers with the big collar like popping out of it. And I can wear it also, I have a few couple of dresses that they're also sleeveless and with um, a crew, I have one that it's a crew neck and another one that it's a v-neck and I love how they look with shirts underneath, with like button down shirts. I think that's all we want to find. Let's Go. Today we're going to go to Savers. Yeah, you guys, wish me luck and let's see what we can find. All right, so we're here at Savers and I just got in, so I haven't had a look at anything. Uh, it's a bit crowded as always, so I'll try to film as better as possible. Today I'm using my phone as a microphone because you know the music is always super loud. So I've just grabbed this book, which I think the images are beautiful. It's called Dictionary for Han Handicraft, sorry, Dictionary for Handicraft and it's in English and Japanese, which I don't know how to read, but I think it's just a beautiful book to have at my, yeah, on top of the coffee table. And yeah, I just love the images. I will show you later when I get home. We'll show you in more details, but I think it's just beautiful. So let's start with the, I think I'm going to start with the, um, with the fabrics, that is just what I have like behind me and then I'll continue with the clothing so stay with me I just started looking at the fabrics and I think I just hit the jackpot with this beautiful red fabric I didn't know what material it was but it just says here it's pure fine merino wool so this is a really great line and by the way I need to tell the prices it's six dollars I just found the cutest necklace. I already paid for it because you have to pay it in like separate. And I just think it's so cute. It has this little like faux pearls and colored beads. I don't know. I think it's super cute. I've been looking for something like this the whole summer. Could have done it myself, but I didn't want to buy like a lot of beads that I wouldn't be using. So that's the magic of the thrift store. If you wait for it, you will always find it and I'm going to start with the clothing now stop like the messing around and I'm going to start with the long sleeves as I told you I want some long sleeves that are like with big colors or like puffy sleeves and we'll see what I can find I will yeah I will show you guys I'm going to start with the size small although I think it's going to be too small but let's see Oh, the first one on some leopard animal print here, but don't like the material. Another animal print, but I can feel already without reading the tag, I can feel it's polyester. But you guys, don't buy new this animal trend print because thrift stores are just full of it. Assembly the label, denim jacket just here what else 
Okay, this shirt is really cute. It's from Melbourne brand Nike. And I think this is really, really cute. It's in great condition. I love that the buttons are hidden. And let's check the material. Okay, so it's on, it has some stretch in it. So it's cotton and nylon, 70% cotton and a bit of nylon, but I'll guess I'll give it a go. So I just found this beautiful white shirt. This is the color that I'm after, some kind of like fun color, but this is polyester, so I'm not going to get it, but this is kind of the shirt I am after. The search is difficult. So many prints here. What is this? I don't know what is this because it doesn't have any any label, but feels like cotton. The bat with a little ruffle going down here. It's a cute one. I'll hang on to this one. Lots of color and prints. Ooh, okay, this is a cute one. Look at this kind of like Western kind of style. It's Levi's, but it's $16. I don't think I will pay $16 for this. But I think it's really cute and adding some touch of color. But let's see the composition. Mm -mm. I don't know, sometimes there are some materials when they blend it in with different materials, it confuses me. Okay, 100% viscose. I think I'm going to hang on to this one. It's a size medium and I kind of love the pattern and the color going around and if i don't get other things maybe i could pay for this one who knows all right let's continue this shirt could be really cute although it's it's a size size uk 18 so it's big on for me but it has potential with uh, this color and I'm not sure I'm a fan of the print, but it's quite cute. So I'm just checking from far away and I see the vest rack are super full. So I'm going to have a look, although most of them I can see there are these type of vests that we don't want. I want some knitted ones. And sometimes we're lucky. This one is not bad, although maybe not you know sometimes i call the effect of the upshop like the summer camp effect like when you start a summer camp you don't like any of the boys at the summer camp and after a few weeks you think all of them are cute <laughs> that's what happens at the upshop like when you come in you're like eh, no i don't like that and then you're like oh well it's not that bad I'm just joking. What do we have here? No, they're all like kind of like sporty and puffy vests, which I don't like. They're all these kind. Who bought these and doesn't wear them anymore? Try 10 bar and look again. Oh, sorry. I kind of actually like these kind of like talking. See if I had a microphone on don't have to speak right directly to the camera 
you guys, these fists are so horrible. No, no luck in the vest. So I'm going to go to the knitwear and the cardigans. And then I'll jump to the pants and skirts and I think that will be done for today. Have a few shirts here which I have to decide after I look at everything. Let's have a look at the jumpers. All right, let's have a look at the jumpers. I'm starting in the size large because you never know how they have been organized or if somebody has changed the sizes. I always have more luck in the cardigans than the jumpers, but I'm trying to have a little quick browse to see if I think Okay, this brand, the brand only. I remember it was quite popular when I was in my teens, although I don't like the touch, the texture of this cardigan, but it's kind of cute. What else do we have here? This is not a bad color. I think it's quite nice. They're all quite boring. Okay, this one is not my size, but a stripy one will be nice. How about these two tone colors? Okay, let's continue. Oh, I see here a Kmart Christmas one. Don't want this. Why don't people just wear like a red jumper for Christmas and that's it? I think I'm gravitating towards green in this thrift trip. Let's continue. This one, not bad, but I see it has a huge stain in the middle. The prices on the knitwear, I have to say, they're not very expensive. They're like $8, $9, $12 I think it's okay. Depending on the quality also and the material that it's made from. Okay, I think I'm going to jump on to the cardigans. So I found these cardigan which i thought it was very cute and it's similar to a gani one and the label as you can see is pretty vintage but i saw in the label here inside the composition and it's i think it said like 70 percent 65 percent polyester and a blend with polyester and cotton so i'm not going to get it but i thought it was super cute look at this I think I had a very similar cardigan to this one. It's actually pretty cute. I don't know what do you guys think? For winter? Mm. I think I'm going to keep it. Here comes the sun is the brand. Don't know that brand. So as you can see, the cardigans are quite boring. I'm just having a look at the pants and I have to tell you it's quite depressing because <laughs> they're all like the same kind of pants. I just found these ones which I think they're very cute although um, 
yeah well it's not my size but i think they're super cute like straight leg the print is also very nice so i would just leave it here for the next one but these are the only pants that i actually like from the whole lot of pants but yeah you guys like we get donated what people buy and if people buy this kind of stuff like bad quality and yeah we just get donated like bad quality stuff so this is what we have to deal with so please don't buy any more oops please don't buy any more crappy things because yeah nobody wants them not even second hand I'm just in the men's section and I found this shirt is originally from Hugo Boss $13 mm, but it's in great condition I love the colors and I'm thinking this will be the perfect shirt to do a bit of a, an upcycling project so I can tailor it more for my yeah for my style <laughs> Yeah, so I think I'm going to get it. Okay, this is really funny. So I see the skirt and I see a Salvos tag. So whoever bought it at Salvos paid $9. This is $9? $6, $9, no, $9, $9, okay. And they never wore it, I guess, because they didn't take out the tag. And now they donated it to Savers. And Savers is charging almost $16 for the same thing that they were charging nine at Salvos. Yeah, crazy. As you see from my previous video, I'm in the skirt section and frankly, like, it's pretty depressing also. There are a lot of summer stuff still. So I guess I will have to wait a little bit more until I find like the winter stuff. I only found this one. It's a faux leather skirt from Sara. It's not been used, has the tag on. And I don't know, I kind of like it. I didn't want to buy any Sara stuff, but I always think that it's better in my wardrobe than ending up in landfill. I guess I can style it very cool for winter with my biker boots, but I'm going to give it like a second thought before I make a decision. What I've decided not to take is this shirt because I have a really similar one. So we don't want like two similar ones. This one, I would like it if it was in a better condition. And also if it told me what material it was, then this one, I really like it. Love the stripe, don't have anything like that. I'm taking, of course, the wool red fabric that i don't know what i'm going to be doing and i also found this dress but i'm not taking because the quality is not very good and the cardigan that i told you before 
This one here, it's very cute, but it's polyester, so I'm not going to take it. So let's meet home and I'll show you what I got in the end. Hello friends, we are back from the thrift store and I'm going to be showing you what I ended up buying. I went actually yesterday, but when I got home, it was beginning like, it looked like it was going to rain, so it was like super, super dark and I didn't have any light to film. So I'm doing it the next day wearing the same mermaid t-shirt and i'm going to be showing you what i ended up buying i have to tell you that the clothing was quite depressing in the sense that it was all as fashion brands very bad quality like a lot of polyester uh material i was just so devastated because i really like that savers i don't know if it was just because of the day or what but yeah i wasn't really lucky but anyways i'm going to show you what I found. First of all, I want to start with this beautiful book. I know it's in Japanese. I thought it was English and Japanese, both languages, but it's actually not. Most of the writing is in Japanese, but it's okay because you can just put your phone like take a picture and it translates it to you at least yeah, i think most of the phones nowadays do it so it's fine i got it because i thought the pictures were so cute and it has different themes i mean it's handicraft dictionary for handicraft so you have crochet sewing and i will just post here a bit of more of a detail but i thought it was like such a beautiful coffee table book and it was only three dollars so great find oh and actually i have a japanese book that i got from a japanese friend and it's about packaging different ways to packaging and it's all in japanese but i actually love seeing the pictures so i thought this one was kind of like the same concept following with the crafty section i found these four ball of yarn it's pure wool pure wool 100 australian wool i've checked the what do you call this i checked the lot number and they're all the same lot so this is going to be great i'm thinking of knitting a scarf for my partner i think he will like a scarf in this color i just have to find the appropriate the right pattern for this but it's just so cool and each package was like three dollars so for six dollars i caught four balls of 100% wool yarn that it's normally at least the store where I go these balls of yarn are normally on it's a hundred grams so normally I buy 50 grams and it's like $11 so I think this is just such a bargain the last crafty sto stuff the last craft crafty fine is this fabric that look at this color it's just so beautiful and it says here is a hundred percent merino wool so nice to the touch i have quite a lot of fabric i think i have maybe like one meter or so i really don't know what to do with this i was thinking that maybe i could do kind of like a shirt something like this for this winter maybe i can do like a shirt with a color that i didn't find this one was six dollars maybe i'll do some kind of project like that and now for the clothing i only have two things of clothing today i found this hugo bosch shirt in the men's section and i thought it will be perfect for an upcycling project i've also seen a video on tiktok that what they do is put a button just on the side and you can button it on the side and it looks like very cute i really don't know what to do yet but i love the colors it's like indigo blue navy light blue i thought it was super cute and in really good condition also and the shirt was $14 it was then the last piece and my favorite one from this find is this beautiful shirt originally from Levi's it's like a cowboy western kind of style and I just love the color great condition also it's a hundred percent was it like viscose or what was it yeah 100% viscose the touch you guys is super super flowy and i love it and i know i'm going to be styling it in so many different ways so i can wear it on top of a t-shirt but i can also wear it underneath my jumpers i have a pink jumper that i think it's going to look so cute for this coming like autumn winter i'm really excited about this one and i think i said it in the video before but this was 16 dollars 
It's a bit expensive, but I think I'm going to be using it a lot. It looks like very good quality, 100% viscose. And I just loved it. Oh, and it has these details in the sleeves, like a nice little bow. I also found this beautiful necklace. So cute. The necklace was $8. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Hope you have liked this video. If you have, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. More videos coming very soon. I promise. See you. Bye!